This week we're going to preview USDA's monthly supply demand report that will come out on Friday, December 8th. We're also going to take a look at ongoing competition from Brazil in the U.S. corn export market. We're also going to take a look at Argentina corn planting conditions and wrap things up with long-term view of December corn futures. Hi, this is Brian Bastien with Advanced Trading. Let's talk about the corn market. We've moved into the month of December here and we've got several items to cover this week. We're going to start out looking at preview of USDA's monthly supply demand report that will come out on Friday, December 8th at 11 o'clock Central Time. Let's take a look at those trade estimates. We're going to focus on carryout estimates for U.S. corn as well as South American projections. You can see the trade's not looking for much change in the carryout number for corn compared to November. Here's the key message. If we do see a deviation in trend, uh, in the trend from that November estimate, the trade could react to the upside or to the downside. Same with South American projections. Key message, work closely with your trusted risk management advisor to have your risk management positions in place prior to the release of the report. Let's shift gears now and focus on U.S. corn exports. We're going to start out this week highlighting what's going on in Brazil. We've mentioned this before, but this chart really uh, illustrates it. This lo looks at Brazil's November commodity exports. What I want you to look at is that gray bar. That's the exports of corn at 7.4 million metric tons compared to only 5.9 million metric tons last year. So we're looking at a record amount of corn shipped from Brazil during the month of November. And these bushels are directly displacing U.S. corn bushels. Now we're looking at the export uh, sales here, unshipped export sales of corn. Notice that while we're modestly above last year, that's primarily due to only one destination, and that's Mexico. If we look at compared to two, three years ago, we're well behind those levels that we saw at that time. So again, we highlighted this before, but besides Mexico, a lack of U.S. corn sales are a red flag on export demand. Uh, we've increased the export forecast slightly this week, forecasting annual exports at 1.95 billion bushels. However, that's still 125 million bushels below the USDA at 2075. Remember, on Friday, the USDA will give us an update on that number. Let's shift gears now and focus on what's going on in South America. We're going to look at Argentina, which last year experienced a drought. Let's take a look at where that corn is produced in Argentina. Now, several key provinces here, Cordoba, Buenos Aires, and the Santa Fe are the primary runs, also including Santiago del Estero. Um, we're looking at that area now in terms of the weather. So now we're going to focus on the short-term forecast for those provinces. Our slides this week, as usual, are courtesy of T-Storm weather. We're looking here at 30-day precip, more of a, a proxy, if you will, for subsoil moisture. You can see across those areas, it's not too wet or not too dry, so it's ideal for planting. December would be a big month for planting in Argentina. Probably about two-thirds of that uh, corn will be planted in Argentina during this month. Now let's take a look at the short-term forecast, looking at scattered thunderstorms. Uh, more so in the north next week, December 14th to the 17th. Pretty dry across Argentina, so again, good planting conditions in that area. Let's look at over the next 14 days. Maybe a little bit of moisture across Buenos Aires there, but for the most part, pretty good planting conditions. So we look for corn planting in Argentina to accelerate here short-term. Let's wrap things up this week looking at long-term trends in December corn futures. A December corn, as we tape here on Tuesday, is experiencing a modest rebound. We're up to near six, 465 a bushel. Recall that the harvest price, however, was still at 488. So even though the market has rebounded, it's still well below that harvest price. And I'd remind you, it's not too early to think about 2024 with December 2024 corn futures trading near 515 a bushel. Now, if you'd like more information, please feel free to contact us at 800-664-2321. We'll put you in contact with one of our risk management consultants be happy to visit with you at your convenience. And remember, we upload every Wednesday. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and never miss an upload. And remember, this Friday on December 8th, we'll have a live YouTube update following the release of the USDA report. We'll be on at 1120 to look at the results of the report. Thanks a lot. Have a good week.